Hi everybody, this is another TFR Drones video and this video is going to be descriptions and specs of my latest project. This is my XCAM Concopter Y600 Multicopter. And as you can see, this is a uh, Y6 style uh, aircraft and what that means is that this is an aircraft that got three arms. On each arm, it got two motors, you know, operating on as a coaxial unit and all the motors in the top got propellers that they spin counterclockwise and all the motors in the bottom they got propellers that they spin uh, clockwise okay so the aircraft got these aluminum arms and aluminum legs and aluminum skids and they are joined together by the center plate that holds the landing gear is also in plastic and the motor mounts they are also made in plastic now the center plates and the battery mount they are made on fiberglass they got uh, connected with couplings and sand offs uh, put together okay so this particular aircraft is uh, very similar to the sky hero spy 600 the only difference that the spy 600 is carbon fiber instead of aluminum tubes they got carbon fiber tubes and it costs five, over 550 dollars the 600 version and this one costs i pay in hobby king like 85 dollars but some places they you can find it for like around 110 to 150 depends where you buy hobby king is the people that have it the cheapest now you might think the uh, sky hero might be lighter just because it's carbon fiber and that would be worth it you know spending you know almost six times of what you pay for this one but incredibly the sky hero is 50 grams heavier the frame when you compare it to the weight of this particular frame over here let's talk about the equipment that i got over here on the aircraft the hardware the motors i got um multi made uh, 2217 880 kb motors from iFlight and these particular motors come with Japanese board bearings and they are balanced from the factory so that's really cool so that helps with you know the vibration issues that you normally get with this particular aircraft propellers that APC 11 by 4.5 MRs and they are really you know nice quality props I balance them and everything so they are in they are ready to go. I got six ESCs that they are also made by iFlight and they are 30 amps. So as you can see, I got um, got the, the ones that control the lower motors. Uh, you can see, you know, this one hidden right underneath the battery plate. And they are 30 amps and they are Simon K. And I dealt with these ESCs before and they are very reliable and, and they work you know very responsive i'm very happy with the way they work the radio that i'm using with this particular aircraft is the hightech aurora 9 and i'm using a hightech optima 9. okay so uh, this receiver comes with diversity antennas so why did i mount these antennas on um, rc style you know antenna tubes and i i strap them with zip ties and i put IC car style on antenna tube mounts and I screw it on the bottom of the frame. So the way I did it is to, when I fly the aircraft, I get complete line of sight uh, reception uh, of the signal regardless in which direction that the aircraft is looking because you can see this one here and there's another one over here. So that's the nice thing about this. Let's uh, check the the hardware that I got under the cover, and I forgot to mention that this is another part of the aircraft. The cover is uh, made in Lexan. They spray most the same material that they use on the bodies of the RC cars. And all you have to do is just snap it in and snap it out. It doesn't use any body clips or anything because it's held by the same arms of the aircraft. So I'm gonna put the steam down and remove the cover. Okay, so now with the cover off, 
you can see the three upper ESCs that will control the top motors and you can see the power distribution board. And so you can see this the Hobby King power distribution board is designed for optocopters, but you can use them anything that got less than eight motors. Now this particular power distribution board is not designed to be used on really large optocopters. This is mostly for small aircraft, uh, you know, like a, let's say you build like a XA quadcopter or something like that. So something that doesn't got you know, really large motors or anything that doesn't operate with batteries more powerful than 4S. And they come array with Prixoto 3.5 millimeter uh, female uh, connectors that allows you to plug in the ESCs. And as you can see, I got, you know, the, the real ESCs that are connected here, the front top ESCs that are connected here, and the lower top e front ESCs that are connected on the sides over here. And then these extra two ones, I made like a custom made switch style uh, uh, cable. That on one side, you got this 3.5 millimeter, you know, male uh, connectors, uh, positive and negative. And then on the other side, you got JSD connectors. And you got uh, that I used to power uh, the NASA and I use it to power the BDO transmitter that I got over here. Okay, so let's go to the flight controller. Uh, the NASA that I'm using over here is the NASA V1. This is the old school NASA, but I put the NASA V2 firmware in there. So by me doing that, that allows me to use the PMU. This all the way in the top over here and over here and allows me also to connect to the PMU the IOSD mini like the one that you see over here. Okay, so this is a very basic um, OSD that is designed to work with the same antenna that the flight controller used, uh, the GPS antenna. Also use it to get all the information that you see on the screen. Okay, now this mini uh, IOSD is connected to this video transmitter about I got over here. It's at 2,200, in other words, a 2,200 mini watt 5.8 gigahertz video transmitter and it's 32 channels. So I put this really, really powerful video transmitter so that will allow me to go, you know, the long distance with it without the need of getting into other frequencies like 1.3 or 900. The mini IOSD also is connected to my GoPro camera and this is a Hero 3 Silver. And as you can see, you got the cable that will send power, five volts power from the NASA into the camera to get the battery charged. And it sends the video out back to the mini IOSD. And from the mini IOSD, it goes to the video transmitter. The antenna that I'm using on the video transmitter is a Cloverleaf for 5.8 equipment, and this one is made by Quad Frames. The boom blocks that I'm using on this particular aircraft to hold the, the video transmitter and also to hold the, the LED light of the NASA, as you can see here, they are also made by Quad Frames. Camera is mounted with anti vibration mount. This is designed to work on the DI Phantom. And the reason I managed to put it here is because this aircraft, the way you mount the camera is uh, it comes with the holes that allows you to put any camera mount or any gimbal for that are designed for the DAI Phantom, but also it comes with these holes that allow you to mount the brackets that hold 12 millimeter tubes, just in case you got those type of gimbals or camera mounts that work uh, that they need to be installed in that fashion. The batteries that I'm going to be using on this aircraft are 8,000 3S LiPo to see if I can accomplish maybe between 16 to 17 minutes of flying time. Also, I'm going to use uh, two LiPos in parallel and they're going to be two 5200s connected together in parallel to see if I can go over 20 minutes of flying time. So let me just proceed to put the cover over here before I conclude the video. And you can see how easy you just go in, you just snap in, and that's it, it's, it's done. Uh, I appreciate that you guys stopped by, you know, to watch the this aircraft. If you got any ideas, any comments, any opinions, please don't forget to put it on the comment section below. Also down there, I'm gonna have the specs of this aircraft, so if you guys wanna see what I'm using here, you can check that out over there. Okay, so please, uh, if you're not subscribed, subscribe to my channel. If you like the video, rate it. If you want to share this video with others, just click the share button and, and share it and favorite it too if you guys like, okay? Thanks for watching. Bye.